Hello everybody, welcome back to the Helix. Today we have our last Fate Reforged spoilers, and Friday is good. I keep accrediting the latest siege is my favorite siege, but Citadel Siege is definitely my favorite siege. So while the cons ability can get really out of hand long term, I really like the dragon's ability. So the dragon's ability lets you tap down an attacker every turn during your opponent's combat. So what this means is that you can hold down a guy while you can pin the rest away with removal. In particular, blue-white controllers need this for quite some time. So blue-white is really good at just killing a couple guys and then surviving to end hostility. Where this lets you keep the value of your removal past end hostility. Brutal Horde Chief is another 4 mana curve topper, so it's a 3-3 that deals an opponent damage for each attacker, and then you gain a life for each damage dealt. His second ability makes it hard for your opponent to develop a board, as you can make them unfavorably block with everything they played that turn that doesn't have haste, but I think he's just really getting not classed by their 4 drops right now, and even Sorcerer the Hunt that we saw yesterday, which I really liked myself, and then you have stuff like Siege Rhino and Mogus. It's really hard to just say that this guy is where it's at. But where I do think it's at is Flame Wake Phoenix. Flame Wake Phoenix is a 3 mana 2 2 with flying and haste that must attack each turn if able. This is already starting pretty good. Chandra's Phoenix was an amazing card, and it didn't really need to block that much either. But Ferocious on this guy is pretty great too. Unfortunately for Red Mages, 3 is just getting really clogged on the curve. So between Hordling Outburst and Goblin Rile Masters, you're dealing with some of the best spells in the format at that cost. And you really don't want to trade any of those for this guy as this card also has a slower clock than the other two as well. It is also mentionable that Hoarding Outburst and Goblin Master can interact with each other, and this card isn't really touching anything. Supplement Form takes me as a really awkward mind control, but then again, mind control is in an instant speed. Through the set, I haven't seen any real removal yet. This might be the closest thing we get to a new tool in control. Well, that's Fate Reforged so far, and I'll have another 5 days of goodness next week. Until then, Jesus loves you. Do you ever want more Helix? Well come check us out at Lightning Helix 101 on Vine.